All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back into the series. Hope everyone's doing well today. We are in Ash Canyon, uh, about to to just keep working our way through the region and see what all we can uh, continue to get mapped here. So uh, I think I promised you guys at the end of the last episode I'd go ahead and loot this place, which clearly I haven't done. So um, let's go ahead and do that really quickly. And then we'll kind of get on our way. Um, so I did see a revolver also yep, right here. I could use this. 90%, not bad. Just kind of watching the weight. I think we already have a revolver on us, don't we? So does that give us two? No, I thought we had one. I thought we were carrying one. Go ahead and reload it. Might as well, right? I wonder if that'll drop casings or not. Looks like it did. Oh no, that's a loaded. Loaded? There's no empties. I was just curious. I mean, like we didn't technically fire the four shots that it was missing, so I was just curious. Ooh, what was that? That was ruined. Oh, some food items. Are we cooking level... No, we're not cooking level five yet, so we couldn't eat those if we wanted to, but um, we're not far, so... This will come in handy. Until I don't have room for them, I'll just hold on to them. Let's go ahead and grab some cloth. Yeah, so I appreciate y'all tuning into the episode today, guys. Um, I think I say it just about every time, but I'm just having a fun, a ton of fun, of ton, a ton of fun um, with this series. I've kind of been, uh, you know, like over the weekend, I played some Stalker, uh, you know, probably, I don't know, five or six hours over the course of the weekend by myself. And I'm really kind of coming to terms with, I think that Stalker's probably my favorite, favorite mode. I don't know. I wish Stalker was maybe just a little harder. Um, as I say that, it's decent. I'm starving. I'm just gonna leave it for now. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I should take it. I could scrap it, but I'm getting so much scrap from the uh, curtains here that I hate to just tear that sweater up. But yeah, uh, I've referenced my my own kind of personal stalker run several times um, on the channel within the last gosh I don't know month or two, and. Uh, Still just having a blast with that. And uh, Stalker's just fun because, like... Need charcoal in here, yeah. Uh, let's head out and I'll, I'll keep uh, rambling. Yeah, not, not great weather, but that's okay. Um, Stalker, to me, is just fun because, like, you... It's, it's somewhat of a challenge still, but... Uh, you know, you really get to enjoy, I think, more than what you do in Interloper. Because Interloper, I mean, you can get pretty... You can get pretty tied down, um, you know, you, you kind of have to limit yourself, whereas like, you know, my stalker run right now, I'm pretty much doing whatever I want, um, I, I really don't, I get to a point in stalker where there's really no threat of dying, you know, short of uh, a bad wolf attack or something like that, and so I feel like stalker, I can pretty much just go on forever, um, I need to eat something pretty quickly here. Whereas Interloper, I mean, yes, Interloper is enjoyable um, by all means. The challenge is fun, but sometimes, you know, it's nice to just enjoy Stalker. So, yeah, I, I would say that this one that I'm playing offline is probably, like, the most time I think I've probably devoted specifically to a Stalker run. You know, when I first got this game, for probably the first, I don't know, like, three years or so that I owned it, I probably only played it on Pilgrim. Um, just because I enjoyed Pilgrim, you know, like, I I didn't necessarily start the game or start playing the game as, like, someone who wanted to, to like, see how long I could survive, so to speak. I enjoyed it more for just the... Oh, we probably ought to take a break here. Um, I enjoyed it more for just the survival aspect, you know, like, the uh, the nature and being out here and oh, I'm starving. just the overall general struggle rather than like you know like I enjoyed the hunting enjoyed you know go oh, I forgot I dumped all that stuff there I did have another revolver on me I forgot all about this what are we gonna do here guys <laughs> um do I have a lantern no hmm it's very precarious um I tell you what I think I'm going to do. Is there anything here I need? 
Uh, I don't have a lantern on me, probably, other than that one. So I need at least a lantern. Yeah, that puts us overweight right away. Do I have a pot on me? Otherwise, I don't. So let's take the pot. We obviously have a revolver. Oh, I didn't want the revolver. Okay, we'll put it down. See if we can leave something else behind. I'm not sure um, I can carry much more. To free up some space. These are all green. Could leave like half my cloth. I need four pounds essentially. Let's go ahead and leave this. Leave this. Any other food that's ruined that I can't eat right now? Not really. Um, I probably won't eat the dog food because it's in pretty bad shape. So that gets us pretty close. And I guess we could leave some saplings. Hate to do that, because they're not they're gonna be out here and they're not gonna be curing, but I'm not really planning on sitting still here at all. So uh, and then so what I'll do is I'll go and I'll kinda get some mapping done and then um, the one of the exits to uh, Ash Canyon is like right down there and I placed that rope last time, so on our way out, I'll probably just climb the ropes here and come get our stuff. But there's nothing here I can't live without right now. We should have all one of all those tools. I think. There's a knife. Do we even have a hatchet? Do we have a hatchet on this? We don't even have a hatchet. Um, we should have enough weight, though, for a hatchet. And then I... I put us over. Carrying any firewood? Nope. Man, why am I struggling so bad with weight right now? Leave that. The funny thing is, is we're going to go get... Um, go ahead and leave that, too. We're on our way to go get the backpack, essentially. I do have quite a bit of food on me. I could leave a couple of whetstones, but they're not, you know, a ton of weight. And the the buildup of charcoal there is, like, not something, you know, typically I would be carrying around unless we were, we're trying to map. And actually, you know what I need to check? Did I map that place down there? Um, yes, I think that's it right there. Alright, let's uh, head up and one thing we need to do, too, that we haven't done is uh, take a look at what we have left, what we've accomplished in the region, and what we have left. I think that's our last rope for a while, so... Is there a cave up here? We could stand even to jump into a cave for a little bit and kind of rest. I think there is. I think I'll have to go always. So, you guys, if you uh, enjoyed today's episode, um, before you head out or move on to your next episode, just be sure to uh, leave a quick like. If there are any comments or anything you guys have for me into the comments section below. And then, hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, would just absolutely love for you to go ahead and do that for me. It means the world when you decide to do that, and it just helps me to continue to grow, basically. So, uh, definitely be sure to do that. And uh, again, I thank you. Okay, so, all that out of the way. Um, man, I'm really struggling to recognize this area for some reason. It's kind of weird through down through here. Isn't this the exit? Right here, right? Yeah, honestly, we could use a quick map. Uh, and I said I would show you guys what progress we have so far. I need to like get an interior location so we can do that. Then grab some sticks just in case we need a fire. Um, like I said, I don't think we have any ropes to climb in the near future, so we can gather up some of those, then by all means we should. It's only midday, so it's not like we're going to need one for night or anything at this point. But never say never. Ooh, there's a <laughs> handful of birch saplings. We'll go ahead and grab them, I guess.
And is there anything back here? I don't think so. But you never know. Ooh, never mind. That's random. Isn't that completely random? <laughs> it's just like randomly sitting here. Okay, we'll take it. Let's go ahead and fire off a piece of charcoal here and just see what happens. I don't think we'll hit anything. Oh, that covered quite a bit of distance. Okay, well, let's keep moving. Uh, we need to eat. I should probably just go ahead and eat something substantial. Like, let's eat some peaches. That's, that's a heavy item. 450 calories. It's just such random placement of that box of bullets. <laughs> gotta wonder how that box got there, right? Like, what were they doing? Are they just walking along like that? Eh, I don't want this anymore. Just set it here. And then went about their life. <laughs> Never to be thought of again. Granted, you know, I would like some explanation of this whole region in general, right? Like, there was clearly a big fire at some point. But, like, you've got the cabin down there on that ledge that we just came from. Like, what is that doing there? Um, the cabins that we came through at the end of the last episode that are we're kind of working our way back towards right now, like, mm, how did those get there? Like, <laughs> Like, what? I had to climb three ropes and cross two or three rope bridges to get here, but, you know, it seems like a good spot to, to live. I mean, I guess, like, if you think about industry, if, if there's money to be made in the mine, people are going to find a way, right? Like, they'll build their cabins in their crazy spot. But still, like, how would you even get the building supplies up here? Just seems kind of kind of odd. I don't think there's any, like, lore or anything to this region, unless I've just forgotten about it or missed it or, like, you know, there's there's definitely sections of the map, really that whole, like, valley um, that seems to have, like, burned at some point. So, like, what's the backstory there on that? What What's the story on the fire? Just curious. Rest. Yeah, we do need to sleep. I don't know if there's a cave up here, though. There should be a place to map right ahead of us. Um, but I really don't think there's a, a cave at all. At least not that I recall off the top of my head. Hi, Meadow. Okay. Go ahead and map that. Ooh, we're actually pretty close to that Polaroid. We might be able to use that to... I'm just not sure where it is up here. Kind of seems like it was maybe over by the rope. Ooh, there's some more birch. We'll go get that here in just a second. How wet am I? I'm not super wet yet. Um, yeah, so let's see if it's uh, this like ledge that the Polaroid's on. And then I'm not entirely sure where this rope goes either. Okay, I know where we are. Um, you know, I wonder if I can get up there. Because if I can get up there, that's that's got to be where the Polaroid was. The Vista. Let's try that before I start trying to map stuff. Doesn't look like I can get out there. Usually it'll tell you to. It'll pop up in the lower right if you've got the picture for it, which we do because it's on the map. So Somewhere in here. So we'll try all the ledges and stuff like that. And I guess maybe, I think, I think I found a way, or thought of a way we can probably tell where it's at, is, what's it overlook? Oh no, it's not that clear. It's not that exact as I was hoping. I was like, if I could tell which side of the cliff it was on, like, is it by the side over there that we were on, or like, where is it? Okay, it's definitely not back there. It's got to be over here. I didn't see a quick way up there at all, so I'm betting it's this this line, cliff line here. Gotta be. Or 
right? Uh, let's go ahead and fire one off. We'll just see where we're at on the map. Oh, we're on the look. We're on the complete opposite side. Am I that turned around? So. Dead deer down there. Is there a cave by chance? Let's see one. I don't want to get too close. Uh, I'm not sure about this vista. It's, I mean, really, it's not the end of the world. I don't think we need it. It, it would potentially make our lives easier. But looking at the map, at where it is, like we've pretty much mapped everything around it. So I don't think it's gonna reduce any time. You know, like the idea is if. If there's three, like, three regions or three locations to be mapped, um, and you can hit them all with the Vista, then, you know, and that's like three locations that you don't have to individually walk to, but we've pretty much done everything in the media vicinity, so. I think we'll just go back the way we came. Cross the bridge, and then work our way back towards the gold mine. Man, I could eat anything. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. We are getting pretty tired, though. We're gonna have to find a cave soon. Do some sleeping. <laughs> Just like waiting. One of these spots is gonna be our vista. Try this one last little hill here, and then if this isn't it, we'll we'll head out. Oh, here it is, right there. So let's see what all. Yeah. So we'd pretty much already mapped everything anyway, but there you go. Alright, so let's head back and then see if we can't find a cave. What time is it? It's still only early afternoon. There's some matches right there, too. We'll grab those. I really go back and forth on Ash Canyon. I feel like last episode I probably mentioned that I really like this region, and like today I'm just like, mm, I don't know. It's unique. Uh, I will say that for sure. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> it's unique. <laughs> um, I, I know that, like in the first season of Interloper, when we got into the region, a lot of you guys mentioned that you'd never been here before. Um, I know, like, some of you have said you're excited uh, for this series when we got to this point, and uh, I, I still I just strongly recommend at least checking it out. Um, it's just, it's different because of all the different terrain heights, right? Like, there's the frozen water down below, there's these, like, cliffs and mountains that we're in, you know, there you saw probably the last episode, some of the cabins that are, like, out in the middle of nowhere. So there's some interesting, you know, points of interest and things like that that I definitely recommend going to see. Also, you know, the technical backpack and the crampons are here. I feel like that's usually why a lot of people end up here. Because those are two so advantageous items. But uh, just, oh, ooh, did I get those? I think I did get those birch saplings. That's, that's okay, I'm not going to go back for them either way. But yeah, I just strongly recommend checking it out. It's a challenge. Um, I don't think it's the hardest region in the world, but I mean, you guys have seen me kind of struggle with some wolves here. That's, I think, really the worst of it. I feel like realistically, you're never too far from shelter. Whether it's a cabin or a cave or something like that, you can always generally get somewhere pretty quickly. Um, I know a lot of people get stomped by the moose here. I've seen that one quite a bit. I feel like I've personally had that happen before. Um, but I mean, also, I mean, there's a moose here. That's a great food resource. You saw the bear last episode. It's a great food resource. Not a ton of deer, but they are here. Um, if you've got cooking level five and can subsist on wolves, um, I guess, and the bear for that matter, then 
you know, there's tons of tons of wolves to eat. Um, see the rabbits here and there, and then there's also a fishing location too, which is um, pretty good. There's not uh, not really, honestly, a lot of fishing locations across the the island as a whole, right? Like, you can fish coastal. You can fish. You can't even fish desolation, can you? I don't think so. Uh, you can fish timber wolf. Mystery Lake. Um, I don't know. I've never really stopped to think about it, but I'd say it's less than half of the overall regions have a fishing location. I've never been so hungry in my life. Plus, I think Stalker is probably the last difficulty where really it makes any kind of sense to to fish. For that, it really kind of gets too cold. All right, so have I been here? I have. Let's throw down the bedroll and nap. Need to eat. I should just go ahead and eat that other can of beaches. I'm going to do that. Okay, and then while it's on my mind, because I feel like I keep bringing it up and then I don't do it, let's see what we have left to, to map. Um, surveyed locations, of course, still not working, says zero. Um, Ash Canyon, Force Reveal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, nine. We have nine left. Broad Falls. I feel like that's the big, the big waterfall by the fishing... Angler's Den. Climber's Cave? Oh, I know where that is. I don't necessarily know where it is, but I know what it is. Um, it's like not even really a cave. Gold mine, that's where we're heading. Mining camp, that's where we're heading. Pillar's Footrest is kind of by the other entrance. Runaway Bridge. Um, I'm racking my brain for that one. Um... Not sure, I'm not sure on Runaway Bridge. Stone Shelf Cave is the cave we ended up in in Season 1 of Interloper. And then that's the exit to... Um, back to, to Timber Wolf Mountain. And then Wolf's Jaw Overlook. I think I vaguely know where that's at. So the only one I'm really not sure about is Runaway Bridge at this point. So we're going to have to do a little work to find that. But let's go ahead, like I said, and catch a little bit of sleep here. That way we've got some energy to keep moving. So let's do like, what time is it? Let's do like mm, four hours. Recharge a little bit and then head back out. Get to wherever we want to call it a day. Whether that's back to the cabins or past that a little ways. I don't know if we could quite make it all the way to the mine today, but I mean, we could certainly try. We got dark. Now we'd actually probably be best served to just stay here, but there's no fun in that. So let's try to get like I said there was nine nine uh nine locations left to be mapped. Let's try and get like half of them. So either four or five in this uh episode. It's kinda what I'm shooting for anyway. And then that way we can wrap it up in the next one and then Gosh, where do we head from there? Um Done Pleasant Valley. We did. How did we do? I don't think we did Timberwolf, did we? I really wish that this thing they could fix this. I'm just gonna check really quick. I don't think we did Timberwolf. Oh, we did. It's got all those check marks. I just for some reason I'm blanking on that. Um. Well, that's interesting. It only shows the discovered locations. So, is there anything we've been to that haven't done? No, so Ash Canyon, and then we can pretty much pick where we want to go from there. Okay, anyway, let's keep moving. It's getting dark. <laughs> it's getting really dark, and we're just, like, hanging out. So this will at least get us back to the cabins tonight, and then, like I said, we can kind of decide if we want to push for something farther than that or uh, crash there tonight. I'd like to kind of make as much progress towards the mine as we can tonight. But, I mean, I'm not going to travel this place in the dark. I'm not that confident in my ability to get around here. OK, 
Okay, there's the bridge. Got some, I don't, I think I even used this line last time, like, I was about to say, it's got some good views, but like, I don't even know if you'd call it a good view, it's just interesting. <laughs> it's just something to look at, it's not necessarily like, super attractive or anything like that, it's just, it's kind of there, it's all burned and whatnot. I would say that I think that this is the most difficult region to navigate, but I really think that that goes to Hushed River Valley, without question. That place is tough to get around. I'm not looking forward to mapping that one. It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. I'll have to uh, have to play it a little bit myself beforehand and get. Uh, get my memory started again on where stuff is, because I think when I did Faithful Cartographer by myself, you know, not not on the channel here, um, that was probably the longest time that I've spent in Hushed River Valley for any region, for any reason. Um, so I don't have a ton of knowledge on it, but at least by that point we should be like geared up, we should have everything we need to kind of make that a easier experience. Um, so it's kind of like that one and then maybe uh, Bleak Inlet are the two that I'm looking forward to the least. Alright, where am I going? I think I'm going the wrong way. Um, hmm. thinking that was the way, but actually I think it's back here, huh? We need to be careful of the bear, also. He could be around here. He could be out in front of us, like he was when we came to this area. I don't know, what else do we have that's, that's gonna be tough left? Blackrock! Blackrock's gonna be tough, but honestly, like, you know, I mentioned my personal stalker run. Um, I've pretty much only been into Pleasant Valley, um, Timberwolf, and I went into Ash Canyon to get the crampons and everything, and then uh, also into Blackrock. And I spent probably a solid 30 days in game in Blackrock, so I do honestly kind of feel like I've learned Blackrock quite a bit more than. I knew it in the past. I, I know how to get around there pretty easily at this point. So I'm not looking, I'm not dreading that as much as I was before, I guess is what I'm saying. All right, we need to be really careful about the bear because he could be around this corner and then we're just running. Oh, he's sleeping. Look, he's doing what he did to us that time. Um, do you think we can get by him? No shot, he's dead, right? I don't know about this, guys. I think we're okay. No shot, he's... he's dead. I, I don't think that we inflicted any damage on him last time we were here, right? One of you guys told me to throw a rock at him, but I don't have a rock on me. Like, when uh, when was that that we died to that bear that did this exact same thing? I'm trying to remember what series that was. <laughs> but in the comments after that happened... No, I didn't die from it, I guess. I, I lived and I ran, but... Uh, after that episode, it was it was it was an interloper. It was the last season interloper. When you guys told me to throw a rock at him as a sort of a test, but I don't have a rock on me, so I don't think he was dead. I think he's sleeping. 
And of course I'm not gonna push it. Let's just keep keep moving. It's getting pretty late. B it's bizarre though, right? <laughs> like super super strange. Okay, so I think I need to turn here and go across this bridge. And I think this is gonna be what gets me over to the mine, going this route. Make sure we get on the bridge. I think there's a broken part of it. Yep. I don't know if I could fall through there or not, but of course I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna try. We'll make sure we're on it before we, uh, before we cross it. I think this is the right way. I should have just gone into the cabins and slept there for the night. There we go. The cave sure would be nice about now. so dark. I feel like I... I don't know. I don't think there's any caves here. Another bridge. If you guys can't see much, uh, you know, on the recording, I really can't see much either. It's getting pretty dark pretty quick. And I guess we could throw down the bedroll and just try to sleep through the night, but... I can only imagine it's going to get pretty cold. And I don't definitively know our quickest way to get to shelter, so... Also, if we got stuck in a blizzard or something. I don't know how far we'd have to go. I mean, I, I could get back to the cabins, most likely. Um, but we wouldn't be able to see where we're going. Here's some more matches, which makes me think I haven't been this way. Which makes me think we're on the right trail. Too. Just for now. And then we'll eat something bigger before we actually go to bed for the night. This would be a great uh, great thumbnail picture spot, but it's nighttime. I think. Yeah, there it is. Right there is the cabin. Uh, the foreman's cabin. I don't know, I can maybe try to sleep here. It's a temp. 42. What am I wearing again? I have two expedition parkers. I think we could do this. We can try it at least. Sleep like five hours and then wake up. Uh, and just make sure we're still alive. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and eat... Uh, let's eat some of these guys. And maybe a bag of chips too. And then we'll drink the water. Go to bed. Pray we make it till morning. It's not a perfect, it's not like a true cave or anything, but I feel like I'm somewhat sheltered here. So we're going to go for it. We'll see what happens. Let's go for five hours and then we'll wake up and, and see what things are like. And then if we're good, we'll sleep. If we need to move, we'll move. Classic phone ring. You guys heard that in the background. All right, we are, we're set. All right, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just go back to sleep. See if we can make it. Do another five. Okay, so now it seems like it's starting to get a little questionable out here. All right, let's gonna move on before it gets too bad. But that's so that's like there's no way I could have done that in Interloper, especially on day like 60. I think is what we're pretty close to. 
Um, so that's what's kind of fun about stalkers. Like, you can actually go out and do things, you know? Like, you're not completely locked down the whole time. Um, I don't know. You get to experience the game more in, in some ways, right? Because you're not... You're, you're free to move. I have so many saplings at this point, it's crazy. Right, let's just keep moving. Hope this uh, takes us where we need to go. So it got like the coldest like right at the end. Basically the early mornings when it got bad. I promise this is taking us somewhere. <laughs> it feels like we've been walking forever. We've crossed like four bridges, slept through the night. We're still uh, not uh, looking like we're anywhere meaningful, but I promise we're getting there. Man. Some more matches. Hope nobody needs this anymore. And then I think, isn't there like a little cave here? Yeah. Is there a bedding? Nope, it's just this little half cave. That's all the firewood. And I feel like there's a little nook like that that has a, you know, one of the like natural beds in it, but that one was not it. Right, we're starting to warm up a little bit too. It's good. that eventually we're gonna we're gonna come to the spot to climb down to uh, <laughs> the gold mine. Oh, we're up. Uh, let's take a look over this ledge really quick. Wolf. Oh, okay. Wolf jaws overlook. Glad that I stopped and hit the brakes there, um, and decided to look out over here because I would have gone right by that. That would have been tragic, because I would have had to come all the way back out here. All right, let's go ahead and climb. That was, that was truthfully just luck. And again, in uh, Interloper, I probably wouldn't have been so relaxed about hitting the brakes there, you know, and stopping and taking a look at something. I was just curious to see, like, what was over that edge to see if, it's like... I can just happen to see the climbing, uh, or the mine area, but, um, obviously I didn't, and I just happened to be walking into another spot that needed to be mapped. And interloper, I'd pretty much be heads down, trying to get to wherever it is I was going. All of that said, interloper is, like... I'm still glad it exists. I'm not I'm not saying that. And like obviously, you know, I've done two series now in it. And uh plan to do more. In fact I've got episode one recorded. So that should come out I'm thinking tomorrow. We'll see. I need to wrap up no the mo nomad challenge as well. But, uh, yeah, it's ready to go. It just needs to be published. This is a big cave. Look at that, it, like, wraps around. Wow, this is huge. Jeez. <laughs> this is such a big cave. I don't know why that's impressive to me, but it is. Huge. Not a bad spot to warm up, actually, too. Let's do that right now. Um, do I want to put the bed down for a minute? I think so. And let's just pass some time in it. Okay. 
Yeah, let's eat a couple more cattails. Just keep our hunger down. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, this thing is gigantic. That's got to be the biggest cave in the game. The biggest, like, non-transition zone cave. Um, actually, I need to go this way, right? Because there's my footprints, so... Go back this way. Sapling at the top of the hill. Ooh, actually, there's, I see that wheel at the top. I think this is our spot. Yep, there it is. Okay, perfect. So let's grab this. Um, and then you know what? Um... A lot of times I will, I was, ugh. <laughs> I'll get the words out here eventually. Yeah, right there. A lot of times I'll um, kind of slide down this hill, you know, I'll, I'll kind of shimmy my way down. And I was actually thinking I'll use the rope this time because we're in pretty decent shape to do that, but uh, I don't have a rope on me. I needed to bring one that doesn't have one by itself, so. Um, I think I've gone down here before. I think that's worked pretty well. Anyway, we're kind of committed to it now, so. Oh yeah, that's easy. It's like all snow. Oh, that was just me being a little too... Make sure nothing's banged up too bad. It doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll just uh, ease our way down. But yeah, like... I thought this was going to be bad. It's really not going to be bad at all. Should... <laughs> that makes no sense. I'm like, ugh, that irritates me. Got all the saplings down there too. Man, Ash King. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just starting to get irritated. <laughs> Ash Canyon just kind of throws uh, saplings at you. It's kind of funny. Um. Okay. So what are we doing weight wise? We're pretty close to being over. But let's go ahead and grab the saplings. Um, because you can go through the gold mine, and, uh, so I don't think we'll come back this way. Because I think the going all the way through it will take us to another spot we need to map, so. I don't plan on coming back. done. Did I? Let me just check. I really wish that that was working. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure this is one of the waterfalls that needs to be mapped, but I'm pretty sure we've already done it, so we got it from the bottom. I think sometimes there's some loot over here, but we'll check, and then we'll just head for the of the mine. Yeah, there's a body over there. Let's go around and see. Some feathers. Nothing else. Anything for us, buddy? Some milk. Okay. We'll take it. Is that it? Let's peek over the edge. Nothing. Alright, let's head for the mine. So I still think we've only mapped the one. I guess we're about to, to map a couple more. I was going to say we've only mapped the one location so far in this episode, but we've we've traveled a long distance. Oh no, we got the wolf jaws overlooked too. I forgot about that one. So we did the high meadow and wolf jaw. And this will be mining camp and gold mine. I think this is mining camp. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know where else it would be. Need some first aid soon. Yep. Okay, let me 
It's making me a little nervous. Come on, pop up. Tell me this is the mining camp. Alright, there it is. Starting to worry I was lost. Alright. And the saplings showed up on the map, but I already collected them. Unless there's more out there, but I don't think so. Okay, um, I think in one of these, yeah, there's a little... Spot to search, nothing in there. I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and head in. See what we can find. Oh, you know what? Um, I need to step out real quick. I'm not exactly sure. It didn't... I need to map this, right? Like, maybe I have to map it from the other side. Nope, I got it. Okay. All right, let's go back in. Glad I remembered to do that. Would have been very sad if we'd forgotten. Ow! Uh, yes. That smarts a bit. Um, we'll take that for sure. Leave the scarf. Food can't open her. We don't need. How am I looking on carcass harvesting? Four. We'll take it. I don't really want to, but it makes sense to. All right. I actually, I think they changed this. Let's see. Oh, they got pretty wet. I think it used to be that as soon as you stepped in water, your feet were completely soaked. But now it's... Uh, they're getting pretty wet pretty fast. But now it's like it builds. So, like, my feet aren't completely soaked now. But it used to be, I feel like, the second your feet touched the water, um, they were completely soaked. So I'm glad that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Unless I'm just crazy and misremembering that, which is very possible. Yeah, I need to go that way, too. Um, let's just go for it. Might be able to get through without even touching it. Nah, I'm getting wet. Oh well. There's really no sense in like not doing it now because they're already wet, so... It was worth a try. Yeah, they're completely soaked. Crampons and stuff, yep, are right there. And there's a Macna. But we have the two expedition codes, so we really don't need the Macna. Alright, so this guy first, technical backpack. Throw that bad boy on. So that gives us another 11 pounds. So with well fed and that, we have 22 extra pounds carrying capacity. And then these, of course, um, help you climb rope and. Uh, will help you from getting sprains. I don't know, like, this might be crazy. You guys tell me what you think, but I pretty much wear them all the time. Um, that's what I've been doing in my stalker run, and, like, I've probably had them for a good 40 days in game and pretty much worn them the whole time, and they've gone down 1%. Um, and you can repair them as well. So I just, like, to me, you know, you guys know that I sprain my ankles and stuff a lot, so having that as kind of a uh, assistant to that almost is like worth it, right out, right out the gate. So I pretty much, like I said, wear wear them constantly. You guys tell me if you foresee a reason why that's that's a bad plan, like I shouldn't be doing that. But like I said, um, I haven't seen a reason not to. Let's see if there's any charcoal. Okay, uh, poor dead guy over here. We almost forgot about you. You are looking awfully blue. Alright, let's see. There's usually a box in the corner back here, too. Oh, there's a rifle. Man, we really don't have the carrying capacity for that. What kind of shape's it in? Oh, lucky day. 74. Tell you what, let's take it. Should be okay to. Uh, I want to take if there's bullets. There's one bullet in it. 
actions unload. How how far? We're pretty far overweight. If I had a moose satchel, we'd be okay, but I don't. So I, I've i left rifles already in here, so it doesn't make sense to latch on to that one. I took the bullet out of it, so that gave us an extra bullet. Let's just let's just leave it behind. Um, and then if you're into this kind of thing, I'll just open this. You can pause it if you want to read it. Pretty short one. And let's get on our way. Go out the other side of the gold mine and that should take us to a few more locations that we need to uh, map still. Really? Ow. Really? Ow. Oh my goodness guys. What is the deal? This can't be real life. No way. <laughs> what? Okay, there we go. Oh, but then I went right back into the other side. Okay, we got it. Gosh, like it's like if you don't perfectly walk on that, you are gonna get stuck. Oh, jeez. Come on. That smarts a bit. I was getting a little worried there. I was going to try the old uh, throw down the bedroll and sleep in it and then quit and reload. And then it should pop you up where your bedroll was. But uh, we managed to get out. Exit. Kill this. Head on out. Okay, let's put that away. Yeah, so this is the spot, like, if you come out of this side of the cave, uh, as soon as I drop off this ledge, I can't go back. So, like, you always have to be sure that you don't want to go back out the other side, because um, there's no coming back from this. So I can no longer go back into the mine at this point. Which is fine for us, because we're done in there, but... If you didn't mean to, who I need to eat. Glad I spotted that. Let's just, uh, I'm like really getting tempted to eat one of our MREs. I don't really see a reason not to at this point. We're pretty much just eating all the little stuff right now. And then having to keep doing it too. Maybe we'll have one for dinner. Okay, let's get a move on. Oh, you know what? I have all kinds of sprains. I'm not going to be able to climb. Do I have bandages for that? I do. I have to. I can't. I can't not. <laughs> I can't not go forward. Like, like I would. I can't go back into the mine like I mentioned. And uh, there's nowhere to sleep up here. I do see that sapling over there, though. I don't think there's any caves or anything up here. Would be kind of silly. Oh yeah, there's a climb up. It's like, don't you come this way to get up there in the first place? But yeah, it's behind us. We really struggled here in Season 1 of Interloper to get up these ropes. In fact, I think eventually we just gave up on it, right? And went the other way. If I remember correctly. It's been, you know, quite a while since that happened, but... I seem to remember that being the case. Only stopping to search the bag. Keep moving. Maybe. I feel like that exact same thing happened to us last time too. Where I was like, how do I get back on the rope? 
because I'm just like not looking at it at the correct angle. But alas, we got it. We're out of here. So we're not far from Stone Shelf Cave, so that's kind of where I'm heading, and uh, it's not quite time to go to bed yet, but that's that's what I'm shooting for. Um, so we'll probably spend our night there. Um, there is one more rope to get down, um, and unfortunately we are tired now, so we might have to... I guess we could... Ooh, you know what? We got the snow shelter here. Let's crash for a couple hours. Oh, and there's loot over here too, but I just almost walked completely by. I oh, hammer. I can't even... Be, uh, I could... No, I, there's no way I can get that hammer at down from here. I'm gonna leave it. We'll take the water. Sleep. Use. Let's sleep for... I wonder how much we need. Let's try three hours. Took care of our pain. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, somehow, exit. I like snow shelters. I wish they just didn't degrade so quickly. Man, the hammer. Oh, I'm still overweight right now. Without the hammer. Let's drink some water. That'll... Oh, no, I ate the... Okay, that's fine. I didn't mean to eat the MRE right now, but... That'll give us the weight we need anyway, so... That'll just have to be... Yeah, it's almost almost bedtime, so that'll be our dinner. And that clears up the carry space for us to get down, so... Worth it, I guess. I just didn't mean to do it right then. Alright, so sometimes the moose... Um, the moose is right down here. And I see a lot of people talking about getting their ribs broken by this particular moose, which I don't see him right now. Um, but what will happen, at least like what I've seen and what's happened to me, what's this revolver ammo, take it, it's again a really random spot to find ammunition, but is, so like there's this rock mound, right, like right there, um, in the center of the screen, and I feel like he'll be on the back side of it and you'll approach from basically the opposite direction and like you'll surprise each other. Um, that's what I think happens to a lot of people. You'll walk up on him, and then you have nowhere to go to get away, and he'll, you know, do his thing to you, and unfortunately, in the hand-to-hand -hand combat trials of man versus moose, moose seems to succeed quite a bit more than man, and uh, you'll usually end up retreating. In fact, maybe that, I'm trying to remember season one of Interloper, guys. Um, did we get attacked? And is that why we stayed? No, because it takes like 20 days to recover from broken ribs. I feel like I would remember that for sure. Um, but I feel like I have fallen into that cave. That, the secluded shelf, is that what it's called? Secluded shelf, stone, stone, stone shelf cave that we're headed for. Um, there's some birch bark. It's so like I've stayed there to recover, essentially. That might have been what happened to us, I don't know. Should be right over this hill. Oh, there's a deer. Yeah, interloper, we stayed here for like, I feel like 20 days or so in this same cave. I'm trying to remember why we would have stayed in one spot that long, and I kind of feel like it was because I might have gotten hurt and couldn't have left, but I also feel like I would distinctly remember that happening. I don't know. If you guys remember, you let me know. I sure do not. Alright, so we'll map this, and probably go to bed. There it goes. Um, charcoal. Awesome. Got it. Okay. Let's take another look at our list and see what we have left. So we had nine. Um, let's see. Is 
surveyed locations, Ash Canyon. So we got four done. I said, let's get about halfway, and we did. So Broad Falls, that's, yeah, I know that that is the big waterfall over by Anglersden. Like, we would have gone right through it. I don't know why we didn't get it mapped. Um, so we'll have to go investigate that. To Cave System, that's the exit we'll use when we leave. So that'll be the last one. So I'm not even really going to count that. We have four left because Cave System will cross off the list just by leaving. Um, Climber's Cave. I'm trying to think how we get to that. Um, mm. I don't know. I might have to figure that one out. And then Runaway Bridge, I'm really not... I like. I, I can picture Climber's Cave, but I can't think about how to get there right now. Runaway Bridge, I have no idea where that is off the top of my head. So, hey, if you guys know, feel free to throw that in the comments. Um, at least give me some, some pointers on where I need to head. And uh, we'll get that one knocked, knocked off the list as well. I'd hope, hope that we can wrap up uh, Ash Canyon the next episode with just really the four four locations left. So, uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and wrap this one up here, guys. I do, as always, appreciate you tuning in and, and sticking it out with me through the episode. We we covered a lot of ground in this one, so hope you hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to uh, leave a like on the episode, throw any comments you guys have for me into the comments section below, and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, would just absolutely love for you to go ahead and do that for me. Just helps me to continue to grow and will help you keep in touch with all of the new content and stuff I do have coming out on the channel. So with that, I will leave you guys here, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.